Engineer drives uh, forward and back, conductors on the ground communicating via radio and instructing, uh, we give car counts. So a car on the railroad is about 60 foot long. So if I say into the radio, bring him back three cars, that means I'm asking him to come back about 180 foot. And then we make joints and we put the different rail cars together and build the train. Have you ever wondered what Fall Creek's transportation was like in the past? Well, we don't always have fast and efficient cars. Before the 1920s, the only modes of travel were horse, buggy, and trains. When the railroad came through Fall Creek in 1871, it was the fastest way to travel. Even though it was the fastest way to travel, it was still somewhat slow from our perspectives. It took about half an hour to get from Eau Claire to Fall Creek. Train rides were not exactly smooth. In fact, they were actually pretty rough. But it really depended on where your seat in the train was and whether the tracks were in good condition. The condition of the tracks is up to the Fall Creek section crew. A section crew is a small group of people who kept the railroad tracks in good condition. They usually rode around in a handcar. At one point, the construction of the railroad, men quit, demanding a raise from $1.50 to $1.75 a day, which slowed down the construction. It was also more common for trains to pass through Fall Creek back then. In fact, four or five trains drove through Fall Creek a day. The railroad pretty much went to every town. You could even get off in the middle of nowhere if you talked to the conductor ahead of time. The railroad passing by Fall Creek had two sets of tracks next to each other. They were built in 1906 and taken up again in 1964 and 1965. The trains they had back then were not that big, neither was the train station which is about the size of a classroom. However, the train station isn't here today because it was destroyed later in the 1950s. When cars first came to Fall Creek in the 1920s, less people started to ride trains, but trains were still a faster way to travel. Cars could only go about 35 miles per hour. It took about an hour just to get from Fall Creek to Eau Claire. There were multiple car dealerships just in Fall Creek, so you didn't even have to travel very far to get a car. Cars weren't always the best way to get around until they had paved roads which came in sometime around the 1930s. Before then, they just had a dirt path to drive on. When it rained, the roads got all muddy and a lot of the cars got stuck. That was a big advantage for trains. However, when they finished the paved roads, cars started to become more popular and smoothed in trains. Nowadays, cars have replaced train travel. Cars are now one of the main ways of travel and there's barely any passenger trains anymore. The trains that currently pass by Fall Creek are used to haul materials such as grain or sand. And you don't see any steam locomotives anymore because of dieselization. The term mostly used for common use of diesel fuel in vehicles has taken over the railroads and has been that way since the 1950s. It's probably easy to notice that the trains that pass by Fall Creek now are much faster, louder, and can pull more than the trains that passed by Fall Creek decades ago. So about eight years ago or so, six, eight years, sand became very big in the area. And a bunch of sand mines came to the area and we started hauling a lot of sand. I think about 500% more uh, traffic was coming through the area. So you wouldn't remember, but about 10 years ago, there used to only be about two trains a day that would come through Fall Creek. But now, and if you live in the area, you live in town, you know that you can see 10, 15 trains a day. And they'll haul sand. Um, Menards is a large customer uh, in Eau Claire, so they get wood every day. Trains used to be the most common way to travel, but now very few people ride on passenger trains. Cars have gone from not very popular to the main way of transportation. Barely anyone travels by horse and buggy. Diesel freighters have taken over the railroad. Thank you for watching.